Hey, what's up homies? Andrew Rooney here, hot on the heels of the last video, the Annika Nellis video, which completely blew my hair back. <laughs> hey, stop that now. Um, I thought I would just drop in a little bit of audio, really. Uh, a podcast episode I did April 2019 with one of my musical heroes, Steve Piccaro, one of the founding members of Toto and, of course, co-writer of Africa, the famous Toto tune. And, um, I mean, well, anytime you get a chance to talk about Africa or Toto is, is a good time. And uh, Warren, the person who requested that previous video he did drop the hint spoiler spoiler alert that there is a little bit of something something in this video uh, for, for the Toto lovers for uh and it was a bit of a Simon Phillips hint but yeah it was it was a big Toto Easter egg in there and uh hey I just thought I'd drop a little bit of audio from the chat I had with Steve Picaro about the song Africa it was really interesting it kind of blew me away and I hope you dig it. Tell you what, I've done quite a few podcast episodes now and I was rather nervous for that one. Um, Steve Picaro, what an absolute legend. And talking to one of these people you feel like you, you know, you've been his best friend your whole life. He's just so personable, so generous and so honest. It was just quite amazing. So hey, I hope you dig this little audio snippet of my chat with the legend, the man himself, Steve Bocaro. Can you give us some tracks that are particularly special for you that you look back on with a lot of pride or that really stand out as you, you listen back now and you think, wow, I actually did a damn good job on that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple. No, there's a couple. I mean, it's a lot of the typical ones, you know, and, and, you know, songs like Africa show you, I, I, I really didn't like Africa at the time when we were recording it. You know, that's, it, no one really? in the band really did. It's the last cut on Toto 4. Yeah, last song, yeah. Well, as your last cut. No one puts a single as their last cut. I don't think in the history <laughs> of LPs has anyone put, or CDs has anyone put their single as the last cut, you know? Amazing. That's where you bury stuff. That's where you put your least favorite song, which is what Africa was, you know, for Total Four. But here's my point, though, bringing that up is that I still worked my ass off on it. You know what I mean? Right. I still treated it like it was going to be our biggest single ever. We all did. I spent a, a real long time, as a matter of fact, on Africa and tweaking those kalimba marimba sounds and, uh, uh, you know, getting that all just right the way I wanted. You know, I didn't care that it I didn't care that I did, wasn't that crazy about that. <laughs> and as far as something that that uh, I look back on fondly, as far as what I did, the perfect example would be the Rosanna solo, you know? Right. OK. You know, that would be a perfect example. And as a matter of fact, even Lukather says that that record is kind of the best representation of toto if you had to pick one song as far as my brother jeff doing something special you know he right. Ungate played an amazing bass part it's classic page writing it's pages writing at its best with the horn arrangement and here's this synth extravaganza you know together <laughs> with a guitar solo you know what i mean and then david playing yeah. new orleans dr john funk stuff at the end with jeff doing that second line oh yeah stuff just that is you know that encapsulates for us uh uh you know what the band was about there's been some wonderful breakdowns of that song i'm sure you've caught some of them with people isolating the bass isolating the um harmony vocals and yeah yeah, yeah people can't believe jeff did that one take and and it's weird because i've seen that uh i've heard uh, what's been posted and they think there's like punch-ins and stuff like that that was that was whatever happened and what, however it was transferred or whatever. We weren't punching in on Rosanna and, you know, that was, uh, that was all one thing, you know, that was all one take. <laughs> I have to come back. You mentioned Africa. Maybe you thought it was a little bit hokey at the time or, or whatever you thought of it and the gestation process, but listening back when that track was finished and, and you're all sitting on the couch, listening back to the track, did you realize that there was some magic there? Absolutely not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it was, oh. like I said, it was another tune, but we didn't say, hey, we should put this somewhere else on the album. This is a, you know, that was, I think, the record company going, we want to release that as a single. And we were like, what? And it's our only number one single. Incredible. Yeah. Did that make you question everything you've ever thought about music in your life? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Amazing. I don't know what it's like in the States at the moment, but that song has had such a massive resurgence here. It's unbelievable. Everywhere. Oh my God. Everywhere. And it's been going on. It's, I think it's, I feel like it's kind of peaked now, but, um, you know, we've been getting starting like four, five years ago almost or so. People started sending us like some choir doing an acapella version of it. And then, yeah. you know, we get, you know, someone would just start, they would just start seeping into us. And then two guys in a pizza parlor. You know what I mean? Yes. Nailing. Mike Messi. Yeah. Okay. Killing it. Oh, that was beautiful. You know, and there was, there was so we thought those were flukes, but then it just kept going and going mm -hmm. and going and climaxing with Weezer, you know, doing <laughs> a couple total, you know what I mean? It was just like, what the hell is with this song? So <laughs> we love it because, you know, touring now, it's like we've got a, it's like we've got a hit single on the record, on the radio kind of thing. Yeah. And it just won't die. <laughs> and it's been a long time since we've had a hit, but it's great to be able to go out there and tour. And there's a whole bunch of people showing up to hear Africa now, you know?